Hi everyone, Coach Sassy here, and I'm here to share with you my favorite recipe of all time, out of all my magic minutes, the three ingredient peanut butter honey apple dip. Three ingredients, let me tell you what they are. First, we're going to use a cup of plain Greek yogurt. Now, if you choose to use vanilla for a little extra sweetness, that's okay, but I tend to stay away from the extra sugars when I can, and you're not going to need it when we add in our other ingredients. But I always try to get some Greek yogurt into my recipes because it's loaded with protein, and I'm always looking for ways to sneak that more into my diet and that of my kids and my clients. My next ingredient is going to be just three tablespoons of a natural peanut butter. Now, I like natural peanut butter, again, because they've removed a lot of the sugars that most commercial peanut butters would have. And I really like it best when I can find a homemade version. And I have one right here from Pittsburgh, from Woolies in Pittsburgh, and it's just, it's so delicious and creamy and nutty, I can't even get over it. So I'm gonna use that, and then I'm going to finally add three teaspoons of honey. And that honey is going to add a natural sweetness to this dip. So we don't need to add extra things like refined sugars or even go to the sticky caramel dips that ooh, are so delicious but sometimes they're just not so great for your waistline, right? So we have those three ingredients. Now all I'm going to do is whip this up. This dip is one that gets really nice and creamy. The more you stir it and all gets incorporated, it's actually going to become a little bit fluffy. Now one of the things that I like about this dip is that you can continue to spice it up even more. I have this amazing spice blend of cinnamons that I'm gonna add a dash to. And I think what you can also think about doing if you are a peanut butter and jelly lover like I am, you could even trace a ribbon of a sugar-free strawberry jam right through the middle of this dip when you present it to your guests. And hopefully those, those are little guests that are gonna be scarfing up this peanut butter apple dip. We're always looking for ways for kids to eat more fruits and vegetables. And I'm, I'm always looking for fun, creative ways to get kids in the kitchen doing this with moms and dads. And then when they feel vested in what they've made, they're definitely more inclined to go ahead and give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake in some of that cinnamon right there, fold that cinnamon in, and we're already done. Now what I have done is I've cored two Granny Smith apples because I think with the sweetness of this dip, it is extra delicious with the tartness of a Granny Smith apple, even though other apples would work just the same. But what I like to do best, especially when I'm serving kids, is to shake those apples with just a touch of lemon juice just to keep them from browning because nobody likes to eat brown apples and kids especially will not eat brown apples, right? So my dip is all ready. I'm going to just plate some of the apples on a plate right here. Let's add a little bit of our dip right to the side. And voila, the three ingredient peanut butter honey apple dip. And I hope that you will definitely give this a try. That's the Hannock Dynamic. I will see you next time.